Hey everyone, this is Dr. Scott Gray from scottgraypt.com and I'm here today with Patrick, my assistant, and we're gonna talk to you guys about assessing the subtalar joint functionally. So two things we wanna make sure the subtalar joint does is that it inverts and everts. So usually those terms are kind of complicated and they're usually synonymous with pronation and supination. But the main things you need to know is does the foot pronate, which it would be flattening of the arch, and does it supinate, and which would be opening of the arch. So we're gonna do this in a functional standpoint. So Patrick, if you wouldn't mind, you go ahead and stand on that X there, and then just go ahead and give me a reach out to the right there. And so what we're looking at here is that left leg, we wanna make sure that that foot is pronating or diving down and in, right? So the calcaneus should be kind of going outward versus the talus comes down and in that way. And so we're just looking to see can you that foot do that, which as you can see from video land, he's doing that. And you can also flip around here to see if he's actually getting that motion at the subtalar joint, because the foot can compensate in many different ways. You can get pronation uh, in many different parts of the, of the foot, because there's a lot of different joints. But um, as you can see here, he's driving in and that calcaneus is kind of kicking up to the side. Uh, so we know he's getting some relative pretty good eversion there. Similarly, we can do supination. So Patrick, go ahead and flip around there. And we'll just have you stand on that left leg and reach around to the right, that pink corner there. And again, here we're looking at now, can that foot and arch open up? And as you can see here, his arch is opening up and it's not staying flat. And this is a really good assessment for runners because as you run, that foot coming through um, and gait and the running cycle helps resupinate that foot. From here again, you can also uh, flip them around. So Patrick, go ahead and do that same test for me. And again, you can see here, he's getting some really good inversion on that heel and that telos is kind of going through that abducted position, going back on that shelf to lock up that mid-tarsal joint. So it's really important that this motion um, is in your athletes and patients, especially when walking and running, uh, because that subtalar joint needs to lock up in order to or to supinate to lock up that mid-tarsal joint so you can propel off the big toe. 